Hi, this is Linda with LLB Vintage and Pretties. And today, we're doing a very important operation on Sasha. Now, this is the first time she's been named. So Sasha is her name. And I'm hoping that Sasha is gonna be a brave head for me today. She has to get her ears pierced. Now, mind you, we can't do it with a needle and a cork behind her ear like they used to do it 50 years ago. They don't do it that way anymore. They got those little guns. Well, I don't have an ear piercing gun and I don't believe one of those would get through her ears since she's not human. But we are all set up to do surgery today, to do the ear piercing on Sasha. Let's see if we can get this going right. As you can see, I've got my gloves out to perform the operation with. So we are going to dome these gloves. I'm pretty sure I've cleaned the toilet with these, but I, I think we'll be okay. And the reason that we're wearing the gloves, obviously, we don't want to get blood on our hands and create issues. So you see, we have our gloves on and we're almost ready for the operation. Oh, we can't forget the mask. We gotta cover up, just in case. Any little COVID germies are running around. All right. So you see Sasha's head. This is me, ready for the surgery. Now, this is gonna be tricky because I can't see with one eye at all. So I'm hoping that we'll get these holes in the right spots no telling. All right, we're going back to Sasha. She has been, she's had some anesthesia put in her ears just in case there's any pain. But I also want you to know that we did clean off this table with water and a paper towel. So I'm pretty sure it's sterile but not 100% sure. And we did vacuum it off with the Ryobi vacuum cleaner. So it's as clean as it's gonna get. Hopefully there won't be any ash issues. All right, so we're gonna tighten up the surgical tool. And this again, has not been sterilized because I think she'll be okay without it. So we've got that in there. A little tiny one. You see it? There it is. So we're gonna turn her head on the side and get the first ear piercing. Let's make sure the drill is going the right way in instead of out. This is a very delicate operation, mind you. Up and up. I think we're gonna have to tighten that thing just a little bit. Okay, so let's loosen it up. Tighten it back up. Ooh, you know, there's always always some issue with an operation. Let's see if it's ready to go. All right. I'm a little nervous about performing this operation. You know, this, this drill bit is just not cooperating with me today. So let's try it again. Okay. It's as tight as I can get it. The battery is charged up. 
we're going to go in for where we want the area to be. Oh, we're probably going to have to call Dr. B out here. See if he can get this tighter than what I can. I certainly don't know what I'm doing wrong. It could be because I can't see. What do y'all think? So we're gonna try it one more time. Let's go in. We're tightening it down. This is the most important part of this surgery. If we don't have this, then we can't do the surgery. It's very important that this piece is on here properly. Otherwise, it's just not going to work. Let's see. So it's ready. Let's see what we can do. You know, we got to go get Dr. Burnham. Hold on one minute. I'll be right back to continue this surgery. And I'm going to holler. David! Need you. All right. So, Dr. Burnham is going to be on his way shortly. He knows this is a very important sterile operation. So here he comes. Dr. B is here. Okay, Dr. B, we need this drill bit tightened into the drill. Let's see if Dr. B can do it. making sure that the surgical tools are going the correct way. Okay, now let's see if we get that to drill under her head, under her ears. Okay, are we ready? Dr. B did not fix the tool to be able to get this done. working on it. Whoa. You heard his aunt. Now the doctor can't operate. Okay. Let's see if he got it in tight enough. Now mind you, I'm blind in one eye and can't see in the other. And this surgery has now been postponed for another day because Dr. B and I cannot seem to get the drill bit in there. So this will probably be let me take this off a continuation tomorrow of Sasha's surgery. Stay tuned. Yeah, she has his name now. So, uh, please wait. No, don't wait. We might be there a while. Uh, so, we will continue on with this surgery tomorrow as soon as we can find someone who is stronger than both Dr. B and I to prepare the operating tools for this surgery. Because Lord only knows if we go into surgery and she feels something while that drill bit is going into the ear, that's just not going to be good. That's not going to be good at all. So we're going to go ahead, put her back where she belongs with the rest of her body. Well, only her upper body because the lower body is out here. She has one arm and one leg. I'm sorry. She has 
This is not a very good operating spot. But, it, you know, who cares? And it's just as sterile as can be. But you can maybe see that she has one arm out here. I'm going to move the operating chair. So she's got one arm out here in the operating room. One arm, one hand. Hi, how do you do? How do we do again? She's got the lower half of her body out here in this sterile environment. And then in the office where we do all our work is the rest of her body. Now, we may do a video where we put her back together. And this will require another surgery. But for now, unfortunately, the surgery has been canceled due to improper equipment workage. So the moral of this story is proper planning prevents poor performance. So make sure when you get ready to do surgery on your mannequins that you are all ready to go. This is Linda with LLB Vintage and Pretties. You have a great day. Bye.